everyone. Let's get started. We're making braised beef short ribs with creamy grits. So you're gonna start with some really nice short ribs. I like the ones that have the bone in. It definitely imparts just so much more flavor and they're gonna become so tender that they fall right off the bone. You wanna first start with a little bit of all-purpose flour. So we're gonna sprinkle some all-purpose flour on our short ribs and we're just kind of trying to create a dusting. This is gonna be really nice and hot because what we wanna do is we wanna sear the meat. If it's not hot, you're not gonna be able to get this really good sear. So what's gonna happen is to caramelize those surface proteins, but we're also gonna lock in the moisture. So we wanna sear on all sides. So you can see here, I'll show you so you can see, that we've got this really nice crust here, and we wanna do that on all sides. That's what's gonna lock in all of the juices, and also create that really nice crust that's gonna impart a lot of great flavor during the braising process. So you can see they're really nice and brown on all sides. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take these out, we're gonna set them to the side for just a second, and we wanna pour off this extra fat. So now what we wanna add to this pot is our roasting vegetables. So we're gonna add what's called mirepoix. This is basically everything for if you are doing roast or stews. You've got celery, onions, and carrots. We're also going to add about five or six garlic cloves and one bay leaf. And now we're gonna add our liquids. We're gonna add about a half a bottle of red wine. We're also going to add some beef broth. And then we're gonna put our short ribs back in. And that's really the hard part. It has a mix of shiitake, there's porcini in there, and just kind of give this great, rich, mushroomy wine flavor. So we'll put the top on, and we're gonna go into the oven. So this is what it's gonna look like after it's braised for about three hours. So tender, pretty much like falling off the bone. I'm gonna gently put these here because I don't want them to break. And this is all the braising vegetables. So we're gonna strain that. So we're gonna make an amazing sauce. If you have a lot of fat, this is the stage that you want to skim the fat. All right, so here now we have this beautiful, really rich braising liquid. So we're gonna take just a saucepan, gonna add one tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna add the same amount of flour. And then we're gonna add our braising liquid right down in here, all of it. So we're gonna do like polenta, creamy grits, you know, I love it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to our grits some creme fraiche or sour cream like I'm doing here. And we're gonna add some Parmesan Reggiano and we're gonna stir all of that together. Just gonna make like a nice creamy consistency. We'll go ahead and put that right down into our grits. So we're gonna go ahead and spoon some of this sauce all around, right on top. Oh man, guys, this is like, come on. And then we'll just garnish with a little bit of parsley, just like this, and there we go. So we have our braised beef short ribs over creamy grits. Wow, 